welcome back. In this video, we will dive deeper into pairwise sequence alignment using BioPython and we'll explore how to use gap penalties for more accurate alignments. If you are new here and have not watched my previous video, I have explained how to install BioPython and why we are using pairwise do module and format alignment function. I will drop the link to that video in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Here we are basically using BioPython library and we are importing its module pairwise too. Format alignment is used to show the results in a clear and readable way. Then we will define a function whose name is pairwise alignment. This function basically takes these types of inputs, sequence one, sequence two, alignment type that can either be uh, local or global, gap open, gap extent is equal to minus one and value of match is equal to one. I will explain the difference between gap open and gap extend later on. Now, if user enter alignment type is equal to global, we will use pairwise to module dot align dot global ms. Now, why we are using global ms and local ms here? Because global ms and local ms are have the capability to use gap penalties. Previously, in our previous video, we have seen uh, the function of global xx and local xx that do not take gap penalties they only works with ma match and mismatches well so here if user enter alignment type global we will run this line if user enter local alignment we will use this function but if user do not enter either local or global we will raise a value error after that we will print and return alignments we will run loop on it to show each alignment one by one in a clear and readable way. Now here the example of DNA sequences we are going to use is DNA sequence 1 and DNA sequence 2. Here we are basically calling our function that we have made previously pairwise alignment. We are providing our DNA sequence 1, DNA sequence 2 for which we want to perform pairwise alignment. Alignment type is equal to local. Local means that we only want to find the most conserved and most common region between both sequences. Gap open is equal to minus 2 and gap extend is equal to minus 1. Let's run it. So here, the part, this is the part that is most common between both sequences and the is equal to 4. Now let's discuss the difference between gap open and gap extend. So gap open penalty is used when a new gap is introduced in sequence alignment. Usually we assign a higher gap penalty to gap open while gap extend penalty is applied for extending an existing gap by one additional position. Usually we assign a lower gap penalty to gap extend as compared to gap open. Now let's see that what is the effect of gap open and gap extend on the alignment score. Now as we are using local alignment so the alignment score is equal to 4. Let's change it to global. Now here alignment score gets reduced because of gaps. Here are basically two gaps. So the first gap will be called as gap open and the extending the extended gap will be called as gap extend. We are assigning minus 2 for gap open and minus 1 for gap extend. So because of these values our Alignment score get reduced and it is showing global alignment. 
and that's it for this video you know now how to perform pairwise sequence alignment with custom gap penalties in biopython don't forget to check the description for the previous video link in which i have explained each and every line of this code so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video and hit the bell icon for more bioinformatics tutorial see you in the next one